I'm Father Bob Stokig, Rector of the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming to you with another one of our reflections. This, not just for Sunday, but for the holiday we in the United States celebrate as Thanksgiving Day. This is on the 23rd of November, Thursday, that we celebrate this feast this year. And we will have one mass at 9 a.m. here at the cathedral to allow our employees and volunteers to celebrate with their families. The cathedral will close immediately following that celebration. The classical gospel used on this feast in the liturgy is the parable of the 10 lepers. Jesus meets 10 who are afflicted, heals them, and then comments on how only one of them, a foreigner, comes back to give God thanks. We think about how we're called to be thankful. The very word Eucharist itself is a Greek word that means thanksgiving. Every time we gather to celebrate the mass, it is an act of thanksgiving. But while we're usually very good at asking God for things like healing, like the safety and well-being of our friends and family, how often do we stop to give God thanks that those very things we've asked for have been given us. We think about some of the classical hymns for Thanksgiving, and we think about the ways in which they evoke not only the blessings of God, but the fruitfulness and beauty of the creation God has blessed us with. How do we care for that creation? We're removed, most of us, from the act of harvesting, but Thanksgiving at its roots comes this time of year because it's near the time where most parts of North America have taken in the harvest and that calls people to gratitude. Because we might buy our food online or in a grocery store, we're a little bit removed from that harvest, but do we stop when we pray not just this day, but before every meal to bless God, to ask God's blessing on the food we share, the company that we share it with? And do we this day also remember those who aren't feasting, some because they are isolated, others because they are poor? What do we do with the bounty God has given us to help them as well? We wish you a very blessed and happy Thanksgiving day. And we hope that when you're in Las Vegas, you'll join us at the Guardian Angel Cathedral for the celebration of the liturgy.